credit yeah. is like is a huge thing. Yeah. Let's talk about it, right? Like, yeah. so I, I guess these are some of the questions that people probably ask you on a regular. Yeah. Do you have to have a specific credit score to get a home? So it and definitely varies. It, var- it depends. So I'll use that. Right now, what uh, most loan officers are proving are in the lower 600. So you'll see 620. Mm. Um, some people are, some loan officers are possibly doing lower than 600. Um, but right now, I was saying the 620 range in terms of credit score. But that depends on which route you're taking. It also depends Let's on what program. That. Yeah. Okay. So it depends. So maybe if you want to do the Home Partners of America, which is the rent to own program, where they accept people who are in the 580s, so in the higher 500s. So it just depends on what program you're going to um you're going to use in order to purchase but i would definitely say the biggest thing is connecting with the loan officer like people want to wait until they have perfect credit scores until they start with the process meet with that loan officer so they can direct you and say okay you know what with your credit score if you're looking to purchase in the next six months these are the programs that you qualify for and this is the programs that you need to utilize in order for you to purchase a home so maybe you're doing conventional or fha or maybe you're doing the rent to own program maybe you're doing um, the naca program for first time home buyer so it depends but i would say six all right so you're moving a little too fast <laughs> i know so me. that's a lot of information all right, so let's start off with um uh-huh. you said the loan officer right yes so do if i'm trying to purchase a home am i reaching out to a home um a loan officer first or a realtor what's the first thing i, I say realtor I say realtor. So what I do is when I talk, when I meet my clients, mm-hmm. typically most of my clientele actually comes from social media. So when I meet with my clientele, we go through a needs and wants analysis, basically like what are you looking for? What do you need in your house? Once we go from there, I go through the whole home buying process. Mm. And then from there I say, okay, now I'm going to connect you with the loan officer and here are the questions that you need to ask. So that instead of them going to the loan officer first, they already have an idea of the process. And if they have more questions for the loan officer, they can ask, but also they know what questions to ask. Okay. So the main thing I would I tell them is okay when you speak with that loan officer when they check your credit score make sure that that credit score is you know sufficient in order for you to be approved for a home loan so talk about credit score how much money you need to have saved what does your down payment look like what does your closing cost look like what programs do you actually qualify in order to purchase so so yeah these things come so when so when I hear you say um, you go through the entire like home buying process yeah I'm thinking credit score i'm thinking everything you said to talk to at the uh the um the loan officer with i yeah. think i'm talking to you with about oh so no how to say, i guess i haven't misconstrued so what yeah what are we actually talking about if i come to the realtor you mm-hmm. say you go through the whole process what is that yeah. process so that process is going to be like okay I, I always say the first step is to find your realtor i'm going to be working with you from now until you close on your home okay. then i basically say okay then you're connect going to connect with the loan officer here are the information that the loan officer is going to give you but before we get to the loan officer uh-huh. how was that process from me to you from from me looking for a home to mm-hmm. realtor before we get to the loan officer. How, what oh, is that process? Oh, in terms of what I'm telling them? What are we telling me? What are, What am I learning from you? What What are the uh, information that I'm getting Basically, you? you're you're learning the whole process. Mm. So you're gonna learn again, like what I'm what I'm gonna provide for you as a realtor, how I'm gonna be representing you. But I'm also gonna let you know when you do speak to that loan officer. Here's the information, but what happens after that? Mm. So when we go to look at homes, I'm gonna tell you what type of market we're in right now because right now we are in a very competitive seller's market. Mm. So that once you speak to that loan officer and you get approved, you already have an idea of what's next. So you're not confused. Okay, what are we doing next? You know, okay, I have my realtor. These are her services. This is how she's going to provide value to me. I already have an idea of what the market looks like. Now I'm meeting with the loan officer. Like, I'm already, I already know what's going on. Okay. So I guess I'll, I'll hey, Brianna, this is Jay. I'm looking to buy a house. So mm-hmm. I guess we shop houses. Um, okay. I'm glad you said that. So, no, we do not go and shop for houses until one you sign a buyer's agreement and that's basically saying that I represent you as a realtor Mm. and then from there another thing is um, you want to get that pre-approval or pre-qualification from that loan officer so when you fill out your loan application that information with that information the loan officer is going to say this is how much you're pre-approved for based off of um everything that you put down on your loan application. Okay. So when I get that sales price, then we start looking at homes. Cause what I don't want to happen is we go out to see homes. We see beautiful homes. You can't even write an offer on it. Mm. You, so we will know what you can afford based off of what the loan officer gives us. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. So let's say if I guess, I don't know my, my credit is on mm-hmm. the lower side, right? Uh-huh. 580, 600. Mm-hmm. Then you could suggest a rent to own. 
Yes, and then we exactly. Could go that, that route. And then we can go that route. So you would still be going through a loan officer, but it would be through their program. Wow, that's dope. Yes. How, how many people do you um you have to go that route with when it comes to renting to own? Like how mm-hmm. how often does how normal is that for you? I do see it now and again. A lot of times when people have lower credit scores and I, you know, tell them, hey, you can do the rent to own program. Sometimes they're like, you know what? I just want to work on my credit and go the traditional route. So that's okay. So majority of people do wait. um, But then there's some people who say, you know, I'll do the rent to own program. I'll look into it. And sometimes they get into it and they're like, I don't like the homes that are available. I just want to continue to work on my credit. So it depends. So I'm assuming like with the rent to own is not a lot of homes that people would want primarily, I guess. No, it's definitely homes that people will want, but your your options are, might be a little more Limited. narrow because it has to be with that program. 